Um, okay, so the topic for today is I want to explain to you what are direct sums. Again, as I said, in a very intuitive way. So what is a direct sums or how can we actually add vector spaces? So would I attack this problem? Well, I would write down my wish list, right? I would write down my wish list um, for adding vector spaces. So what, what could that mean? Well, or what, what could I want? Well, if I think about adding numbers, then I would have something like A plus B is certainly equals B plus A, right? Four plus five is certainly equals five plus four. I kind of want the same for vector spaces. Um, I read this funny symbol in the middle that I will explain in a second. Um, but for now, just ignore it. It's basically saying w, uh, v plus w equals w plus v. Um, whenever I have numbers, I would write down something like a plus b brackets. You maybe even don't think about it, but you have something like this. It's called associativity. Um, I kind of want the same for vector space. Again, writing this funny symbol in the middle. And hmm, if I already have kind of an addition of vector spaces, then I certainly want that the kind of the dimensions add up, right? So dimension of V plus W is the dimension of V plus the dimension of W. And the question is kind of how can we what is the correct definition such that we get those properties? And kind of the question I would like you to would like you to ask and I would like to answer is kind of how can we add vectors externally? But not internally, you can add two vectors. That's not what I'm interested in. I want to add them externally. And well, what is my standard definition of a vector? Well, what is my standard example of vector space? Something like R to the N. So I have a vector in R to the five, whatever. And I have a vector in R3 plus R2, whatever plus means. And I kind of want to, want to add those two vectors together. My vector one to three, I want to add it to my vector five, four, uh, four, five, <laughs> five, four. Um, and I can only imagine one reasonable operation to add them by just stacking them on top of each other. And you can kind of identify this by, by forgetting this line, um, but it's actually there. So let, let's keep it in mind for a second. So my external addition of vector spaces is just taking one and stacking it on top of the other, right? That's all I want to do, very easy. And kind of the idea is, well, what is this vector space? Well, if you have a basis of one vector space and a basis of the other vector space, then you just stack those bases together. So here's my basis of R4, uh, uh, R3, standard basis, or a basis of R3, and here's a basis of R2. And all I do is I stack them on top of each other. And I get, well, three plus two is five. So I would define a new vector space on the basis. And I, I just have some funny notation for it. I just, I just say it has a first entry and has a second entry. It has a first entry and has a second entry. But all I'm doing is I'm stacking basis uh, elements on top of one another. That's it. I'm taking two vectors and I stack them on top of one another because this is really the operation you would do in addition, right? If you want to add three objects to two objects, what you actually would do is you, you would put them all on top of one another. You have, would have four, uh, five objects, three plus two, three, five. You have five objects. You just put them on top of each other. You do exactly the same operation for vectors. Okay, uh, let's just go through my wish list. Why is my wish list now true? Well, do we have this uh, commutativity? Well, yes, of course, because I, if I have a vector one, two, three, and I add it to a vector for five, then I get this vector. Here's my, my line. And if I do it the other way around, 
it's really the same vector up to that I have my 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 little line on a different in a different height, right? Uh, but of course they are equal, right? And that isomorphic just means they contain the same information. So they are equal up to a, a certain, in this case, re whatever uh, reordering of 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 the the, the line. Shift height shift of the line. Uh, what about my second, my associativity? Yeah, it's the same. You, you just get the small line either at first at the bottom or at the top, and the big one then the other way around. But of course, those two vectors contain the same information. So yes, they are equal as vector spaces. They are isomorphic. That that's a technical term. And yeah, I already explained that this holds. If you just stack basis vectors together, yeah, of course I get five. Okay, I have my little line here, which distinguishes them. Um, I get five plus three, that just matches up. Just be careful that uh, you stack them together and you put zeros at the bottom. Yeah. So five plus three. So yes, everything works. So checks out, checks out, checks out, great. And that's it. Here's the formal definition for completeness. You could stop the video if you want and read it, but it's actually not so important. It's, it's just making exactly the same instead of using one, two, three, four, five, just have some better notation or some abstract notation. So um, I wanted to tell you how to add, I, I told you how to add vectors externally. I now tell you how to add matrices externally. And it's exactly the same operation and this is how it goes. So if you have a matrix, so let's say a two by two matrix from R2 to R2, and you have a three by one matrix from R3 to R1, then okay, you take the direct sum. So those two are from the R5, um, this color, these two go to R three, right? So that's just what I explained. And how do the matrices arrange? Well, you just have those block matrices. This comes in the top corner and the other one comes in the, bo the, the bottom corner. And there will be open entries which you just fill up with a lot of zeros. And that's it. That's how you add matrices. So, um, Adding vectors is stacking vectors, adding matrices is adding, well, externally adding vectors, is stacking vectors, externally adding matrices is, well, forming block matrices. And that's your direct. Thank you very much for your attention. Hope to see you next time.